about the CMT trade fair in Stuttgart today. It's the 16th of January 2019. Uh, this is the stand of Niesmann Bischoff. This is the Smove which was introduced at Dusseldorf in 2016, two and a half years ago, nearly. This is the red one. That's just the colour. It's uh, the rest inside is somewhat similar, but I think the colour looks really good. Now I know I said some nasty things about this van, but to be quite honest, I really like it. And I was recently on a, um, a jury for Motorhome Awards. Now I'm not allowed to say who I voted for, but um, I'll let you know. I give this thing here rather high marks. So anyway, <laughs> that part. Um, I think this is a really trendy looking vehicle. Um, it's meant to be something they said to, you could sort of park in the town centre or something like that. You could go out um, to the theatre, as I know anybody goes to the theatre. I think a friend of mine went to the theatre once. I went to the pantomime once, but I was four years old at the time. Uh, but uh, that's sort of the idea. You can go to the theatre or the cinema or something like that, and then you can um, park it outside. Well, to be quite honest, I think, unfortunately, this is a little too long just to park outside the uh, theatre or the cinema or whatever. So you might want to get the bus back. But I do think it's a good length for a motorhome. And now I'm going to show you one of the two things which people have complained about. Number one is this. I think this is good myself. Right, so the this comes up like that. You've got a bit of space there for your kitchen. This goes up here like that. You've got your sink. You've got two burners. Now somebody said to me from, a, from another company, two burners and a line. You can't do that. And that, well, my answer is, well, why not? I suppose they could put another one in. But to be quite honest, I'd rather have two burners and a bit of prep space down there than three burners. You might think differently. Um, uh, I know from experience that most people are not really into haute cuisine when they're in their camper vans. Uh, I am, or at least I try it anyway. Um, but you know, I don't often use more than, very rarely have three burners on the go. So there you have it. Right, so I'll close this. Another good thing of course is that one can also use this thing here as uh, support for your preparation. There is a warning here of course not to turn, not to put it back when the fire's on, uh, the uh, the stove, the hob, the hob's on. Uh, I thought that was common sense, but anyway, they're probably blah, blah, for legal reasons. Okay, so you've got your table, table extends, you can do your prep there, or whatever, food prep that is. Now, uh, let's have a look down here. This is, uh, I think, the cheapest van that Neesman Bishop now do. Water tank. <laughs> built in the double floor. Makes sense, acts as um, insulation, isolation, whatever the word is. Right, got the fridge through there, you might think, oh, well, that's too far for the fridge. Um, I don't think so, I think it's a good enough place as any. There, there is one little problem, as I, I shall now demonstrate. I mean, supposing this were sort of closed like that, and you're in the bedroom, uh, and somebody's in there and wants to get in the fridge, I suppose that is a sort of a problem. Right, in here you've got this enormous shower, it's almost one square metre in uh, size. You've got the toilet hides itself under there, that's a good idea. I'm personally a bit concerned about toilets sliding in and out, if that would actually break them after a while, because everything seems to slide, seems to get broken after a while. I don't. I haven't heard of anybody's uh, toilet uh, getting broken like that. I just point that one out. Right. So let's go at the back. You got storage down there, either side of the bed. You can see that. You got storage in the steps. You got this enormous bed at the back, so you can sleep lengthwise, widthwise. Oh, you can sleep on the roof if you want. And if you want to sleep on the roof, there's got this huge panoramic window that you can get through and you can get onto the roof. As well as having windows at either side, you've got your storage lockers all the way around. Yeah, I'll show you the storage locker. Oh, there we go. 
So that's quite, uh, it's quite deep if it, if it isn't particularly high. And, yeah, I'll open this because there's people in there. Mm. Oh, come out. Oh, chilling in. Oh, Peter's here. No, kind problem. Oh, so you so couldn't say and say, kind problem? Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so on the left there's a wardrobe, which I didn't get a chance to show, but you've seen the wardrobes before, you've seen it on the look bank. And uh, what I'm also going to point out, whilst I'm sitting down in this seat here, is this wonderful sliding roof made by Polyplastic of the Netherlands. Niesman Bishop did have a um, the exclusivity on it, but I don't think they do any longer. But look at that, you can really sort of sit here and look at the stars. I mean, if you're outside of course, in this case you can look at the inside of a corrugated roof. Right, so what do you think? I think this is, I really do, I know I said some nasty things about this van, but I do think it's great. Um, one little minor, minor, my, I think it's a really minor point actually, but I don't like steps inside my van, I like to have a flat floor as much as possible. There you go, you see there's a step down there. Right, let's go and have a look up, round, round the outside. We'll get the bad news as well, while we're at it. Right, 7.4, a small, look, 150,000 euros that is as well. Look at that. Right, and what's the, what's the kickoff price? 80, 84,000. So look, it's almost doubled in price. Um, you might want to try getting it on your company because there's almost 30,000 euros of VAT on, on there. Companies have different attitudes though. Uh, sorry, taxes uh, vary from one country to another. You can actually reclaim this. Those interesting in reclaiming tax and things, I'm going to show you another van on another stand, which will be in another film. And uh, they've got a sort of solution to this problem. It won't work with this van though. Now, more's the biddy. Because it's quite an outstanding, it looks really good. Yeah. So, um, do you like that? I didn't. Okay, so let's have a, uh, this is obviously the Nismo Bishop stand. So, uh, I, let's have a quick look at some of the other vans here. There's an Arto, also with a nice colour scheme. And, and these men Bishop offer, offer this, this sort of extra, they are what you call highlight, I don't know, something like that. Uh, you have various colours. Um, here's a flare. It's pretty big, that. This is, of course, it's a, it's a luxury manufacturer. I mean, the small is their cheapest vehicle. Cheapest vehicle starting at 83,000. Here's another small, 6.9Q this is. Let's have a look at the uh, garage. Huge garage, you've got a space down there and the point of that is actually, I think the point is to put your bike in. Although, don't quite follow how you're gonna get two wheels in there. There may be a way, maybe it's not for your bike. There's a gas cabinet. Get a refillable thing, I would say that. Right, this one is, 113,329. Kickoff is 79,920. So it's got 54,000 euros worth of options on it. Anyway, let's have a look inside. So the difference is going to be at the back. So this is the this is the type I personally would prefer. I mean, I don't want this huge uh, bed. I'd rather have a little bit uh, less uh, length to worry about. Having said that, you don't have that great panoramic um, roof over a uh, skylight over the bed as you have in the other one. Oh, 
And this is the uh, thing you didn't see in the other van because we had guests. Obviously, I mean, people coming here, they might be uh, wanting to buy the thing, so I'll give them priority. Well, sometimes if the people from the stand see I'm filming, they chase people off. I'll show you in here as well. This is sort of different from the other one. Sorry, the, the entrances were different. Oh, they're all good, we've got the toilet out, so you can see where the toilet goes. So it slides in and out. And you've got a little uh, roof light as well. Colour scheme, different. Obviously, the main thing with Neesman Bishop, they have a huge amount of choice on internal colour schemes. We've also got a lot of space on their uh, stand to sort of appreciate the vehicles a bit more. Some of the other, other, other stands are really, they've really packed them in. Okay, I think I've actually filmed most of this uh, stuff in previous years, either here or at Dusseldorf or somewhere. But um, as you, if, you, if you see something as I pass by and you're interested, then um, you might actually find a film of it. Uh, somewhere else on my YouTube site. Having said that, if you go to motorhomefulltime.com, I've got lots of stuff there written about and lots of photographs about all of these vehicles, so you can find out more there, should you be so interested. Anyway, so I'll leave you with this final shot of this Smove, which I think looks great. I'd be terrified of driving it just in case I scratched it or something. And uh, so, what do you think of it?